Hello, my name is Rima Islam. Uh, so, uh, this is the CSEN 605 digital system uh, design project. Uh, the idea is using a robotic hand, a uh, 3D actually robotic hand, uh, to, to mimic, the, to mimic the, the motion of a human hand, where each finger is connected, uh, is attached by a string, where this string is connected to a, a servo motor, which, which, you, which is used to control uh, the motion of each finger. This is Sam Ansari and I'm going to talk about the mechanics of the robotic hand and the components used in the project. Let's start with the mechanics of the robotic hand. We have a, a 3D printed robotic hand with 3D printed fingers. We have built-in servos. Okay, the fingers are, control, uh, are connected to the hand using elastic strings. And the fingers are connected to the servers using uh, strings also. They are connected to the fan with the servers. So the servers we used are servers that can go from 0 degrees to up to 180 degrees. Okay. We have an external power supply supplying the power to the servers to control the fingers. We have also a leap motion. The leap motion takes our hand gestures. And then we have an Arduino. Arduino sends signals. We have the FPGA also sends control signals. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hello, this is Abdul Rahman Osama. Uh, I'm a PhD student. Uh, okay, I'm going to discuss uh, the lead motion sensor connection to the computer. Uh, and what does the leap motion do uh, Leap motion is a sensor that detects, uh, that creates the 3D space above it with a laser sensor, a depth camera. Uh, when I put my finger here, or my, my hand here, it detects my full hand. If I did any movement, it detects my movement. Uh, so generally, uh, this is done by a processing code uh, that we did. Uh, the processing code detects which finger is extended and which finger is not, and depending on the finger is extended, it sends a signal, and if the finger is not extended, it sends a different signal. So generally, the, the, connection, the connection from the lead motion to the, to the Arduino is done through the computer with, signals, uh, with serial signals being sent from the code. Thank you. Hi, this is Nada Hamed. I'm going to discuss the connection between the Arduino board and the FPGA. Uh, so first, the Arduino receives a signal from the computer through the serial connection. This signal indicates whether a finger should be extended or not. Uh, depending on the Arduino code, um, at, uh, the corresponding pin is set, set. The corresponding the corresponding pin is set to low if the finger is extended and high otherwise. Uh, then the, the pins on the Arduino codes are connected to input pins on the Altera board um, and depending on the incoming input, the Altera board generates an output signal and this output signal uh, controls the fingers on the robotic hand. Hello, uh, my name is Mariam Oksharev. I'm going to explain the circuit. Um, here, first off, we have a power source. Um, it supplies the power to our circuit. Um, these are the, the this is the positive node and this is the negative node. Okay. Um, here we have the leap motion sensor. Um, it gives the uh, signal to the Arduino. Then the Arduino takes uh, the uh, takes the uh, leap motion uh, signal and uh, gives it to, uh, as input to the FPGA uh, through these pins over here. Okay. Um, then the FPGA outputs the signal to the servos, and here we have the common ramp. Um, that's when I do any gesture over here. Okay. Well, it gets translated from the uh, leap motion signal to uh, the Arduino, Arduino to FPGA, FPGA. Okay, thank you. Do you want to Hi, this is Jumna Gandur. I'll be connecting the points to make sure that our project's idea is clear to everyone.
so, so far we said that we have a 3D printed robotic hand and each finger was printed uh, was 3D printed individually connected to each other with a bunch of strings and the whole process starts from here our hand movements give signals to the leap motion sensor and then it is transferred to the PC and from the PC to the Arduino and then the Arduino transfers these signals to the FPGA and then the FPGA transfers these signals to the servers uh, using, a, uh, using a written very low code and this is how the servers um, the servers built, uh, built in the, the robotic hand uh, act upon these signals and actually this is how the, uh, our 3D robotic hand mimics uh, the human hand's motion Thank you Oh, shit. Oh, shit.